Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Whenever you come across this video, I'm so grateful for every single one of you. I love you guys so much. Thank you for choosing to spend a little bit of time with me. So let's do a pick a card, okay? Um, for some reason, I feel like I want to tell you, I don't know, I, I want to do this one on like, what do you need to know right now? Because for some reason, I feel like your mind is lying to you, collective. Your brain is lying, is lying, okay? And it does that, it does that. So let's get three cards, three piles, and let's go from there. Gotta make these kind of quick messages. Got stuff to do, but this one, it came through and I was like, let's do it. That sounds like fun. Oh, there they are. There they, oh, hail. Okay. <laughs> Dang, okay. Wisdom just popped out of nowhere. Okay. Excuse my booty. Big booty Julie, let her wish shake it. Right? We do. We do. We let her wish shake it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is interesting. So we have power for pile one, service for pile two, and. Companionship for pile two. Pile three. Oh, pile two and pile, pile three might be very similar. Okay. Look at my hair. It's kind of a mess. Anyways, okay, take a minute. <laughs> and you can pick whenever you're ready. Take a deep breath in. Close your eyes. Just whatever you're feeling drawn to is perfect. Also, excuse the noise in the background. Pile one. If you chose this power card, what do we need to know? What does pile one need to know? What's going on? What do they need to know right now? Because, yeah, I'm drawn to the compassion at the bottom of the deck. Um, I really feel like your brain is being really hard on you. I feel some some negative self-talk here. I'm going to be honest. I do. I feel like you're mean to yourself sometimes, okay? And I feel like you've worked really hard to, like, step into this, some sort of power here, okay? Like, really kind of own who you are and love yourself and all these things. But for some reason, I feel like you're, you, um... Pile one, I'm picking up on an energy where I feel like you're so good at like talking other people up and really finding out, finding, it's like you can see um, like the power in other people. You can see, dang it, <laughs> I'm just going to get a whole mess. Yeah. Um, you may have. Love options. Must be love on the brain. And that might be what's related here, okay? Is you may have options. And, um, but I'm really feeling like, um, or maybe somebody else has options or something. There's something that you're not sp speaking to yourself very kindly about. And I don't know why. I don't know why. So let's find out. Holy Spirit, really, angels. What does Pile 1 need to know at this time? flying everywhere here yeah I feel like um, okay if this has to do with a relationship okay if it has to do with a relationship what you need to know is um,
So that just kind of went away. Oh, okay, came back around. Okay, <laughs> now, see, that might be significant, okay? There might be something, um, okay. So there could be a new kind of connection coming through here, pile one. This might be what you need to know, okay? There could be a new connection, okay? And, and this new connection is um, gonna help kind of balance some things out. But I think that it looks a lot different than previous connections, okay? Because I feel like this connection um, is somebody who's like on an energetic match, right? Like you're the king or the queen and so is this person, okay? Possibly of cups, right? Somebody who's very emotionally mature. Maybe possibly um, very n nurturing, very kind, very sensitive, um, but like supportive, okay? Um, so I feel like you may be like self-talking yourself down because you're so used to a page energy that when this king shows up, you almost shrink down, even though that you are in this queen or this king energy, right? So just take, you know, reverse the roles, however you need to do it, whatever, you know. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so um, deer might be significant here, okay? Also um, the full moon. So this could have been kind of something that's been going on since the full moon. Is this like self-talk here? Um, but there is some sort of, what you need to know though, is like you are an energetic match with this person, believe it or not. Okay. There's something about that. Okay. Um, whether this is, but there is competition, there may be competition. So this could be, this could be, um, an opportunity, a business opportunity. It could be a relationship. It could be, it could be lots of different things. Okay, I do feel like um, there's potentially somebody that is wanting to come in and work with you, possibly, but, but, but I feel like you may know about some sort of competition. Um, there's something about that. So that could be where this self-talk is coming through of like, I don't, you know, because maybe in the past, uh, you know, whatever. But I feel as though, it, first of all, again, I feel like you need to have some sort of like, compassion within yourself and also like be secure within yourself and your ambitions here okay and your intuition and know that like you are like so say this is you know a job opportunity or a person or something and it's like you know I feel I, I pile one I'm feeling like I'm talking to somebody who's typically pretty confident Okay, but this could be something that's like a big deal, right? It feels like a big deal. It feels like it could be a big deal, especially if you're like doubting your worth on this. I feel like um, by you kind of emotionally disconnecting from any type of like energies or like Things that happened in the past that may have been betrayal from like these same type of energies here. Because this feels like it's like something exciting is happening. But it feels like something in the past similar has happened, possibly, but it didn't go well. Okay? And so I, or it didn't end up right. Or it, it was just was not right or something like that. Right? And so I almost feel like... It's like your mind wants to take you back to in the past, right? And compare, I, I also feel like maybe even like compare yourself to who you were in the past or something like that. It's just like, no, don't go back there. Don't go back there. Okay. Um, there's something about just being yourself. Being secure within yourself and your ambitions and what you know um, and allowing this to unfold for you okay yeah it could have to do with some sort of leadership opportunity okay yeah I feel like you're feeling anxious about it um, like almost like you're not worthy of this but you need to know that you are here okay 
Yeah. Yeah, let go of this like defeated energy here or this um feeling defeated or like I'm hearing something about it being second best and the divine is like wanting you to know like I almost feel like the divine is like I'm sorry are you questioning my work <laughs> are you questioning me Are you questioning the balance and the rebirth that you and I have worked on together? Mm -mm. No, no, no. No, no, no. Pile on. <laughs> this is very gentle energy. It's like not, it's very gentle. It's like I just want to kind of like tap you on the shoulder and be like, hey. What the fuck? No, I'm joking. <laughs> No, but it is a gentle energy. It feels like it's like, uh, uh, kind of though, in the same sense of like, are you joking? Like you're like, after everything we've been through, you're going to start questioning yourself now, now, on this point of the journey, you're going to start questioning your power now and yourself and your ability to create and build and love. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It may, maybe, um, Let's see what this is. Yeah, it could also be your ability to create and um, manifest abundance, right? Um, we have leadership here. Again, it's coming out here. Justice, okay? So, yeah, there's kind of this energy where, like, I don't know. Um, I think your mind is telling you a lie and telling you that, that you're not good enough for this opportunity, that you're not good enough to receive whatever this is or to be chosen. That's what it feels like. It's like to be chosen in some sort of situation. And the divine wants you to know, balance out those thoughts, okay? Have fun right now because, listen, you are worth choosing, okay? Like you are, look how confident she is. Look how strong and powerful she looks, right? Like just, just your reminder, okay? Because I feel like there's some sort of exciting, something exciting coming through that may make you question this. Just a, just a wee bit. So this is just your heads up that when it does, don't you dare. Okay? Okay. You know, I forgot to write down the timestamps. Leave it to me! Okay, pile one was 202, I think. Pile two. Pile two. If you chose this service card. This is your reading. Reading. <laughs> I love doing it like that. Okay. What does pile two need to know? What does pile two need to know, please? Um... For some reason, pile two, I feel like your brain, I'm, I'm picking up on some sort of imposter syndrome here, okay? Just some sort of imposter syndrome that is like, um, and this is kind of similar to pile one, but I feel like this has to do with intentions, okay? I'm not sure if, um, there's somebody that's been kind of like playing in your energy a little bit here, pile two. Um, it, because I feel like pile two, you're somebody that like worries about whether or not you're on the right side of things. Like you're somebody that actually gives a fuck about whether or not you're doing the right thing. Okay, about whether or not you're helping others, about whether or not you are hurting others, about... Oh. Okay. 
Sorry, guys. Silas therapist. Um, just gonna have to cancel today. Yeah, we have shadow work here. Um, that came out pretty quick. Yeah, I just, I feel like you're, you, there's kind of this energy where it's almost like maybe you're possibly like worried. Um, I'm also, uh, I also feel as though, pile two, that some of you are still kind of holding on to maybe some mistakes of the past here. Okay, and this could be why you're questioning, like, where you're at on things. Like, am I? Am I? Who am I serving right now? Like, that's kind of what it feels like. It's like, who am I serving right now? That could also be um, something as well, pile two, that could be something significant for you. Is like, um, I'm hearing like, is this serving me? Hmm. Yeah, with this shadow work thing. Okay, so pile two, I'm also picking up on energy where maybe possibly some of you are like, like I'm trying to be in service of the divine. I'm trying, I'm trying to do what you do, Corey. I'm trying to be in service, okay? Like there's something about that here. And um, because maybe possibly it hasn't quite manifested because maybe possibly you haven't like... Um, you know, got your first client or your first booking or sold your first product or did whatever, right? Or or maybe you haven't gone viral yet or, or something like that, right? Maybe you're feeling like, well, like, is this, am I doing the right thing? Like, is this, you know, there's something about that. And and the divine wants you to know here, okay? Yeah, that you're, you're, you're healing through some things, okay? You're aligning to this. You're aligning to actually being in service. And, and, um, I feel like also, um, because there's something about gaining this like deeper awareness of self here. Yeah, there's, we have three fives, five, five, five. So there's a lot of change coming in. And it's because I feel like with, with the shadow, the, the shadow the we have the moon, right? And the shadow work. And then we have the star right which is rejuvenation healing um and we have the five of swords five of cups and the five of pentacles so this is some this is something that's definitely changing here okay you are on the right side of things okay you are like and currently right now as you're doing this like shadow work and like healing and stuff you're already in service so some of you pile two your mind is telling you you're not doing enough you're not doing enough for this earth. Are you kidding me? You came here and you volunteered to help this earth and you're just sitting on your ass right now? And you better tell that to stop, okay? <laughs> That's a lie, okay? <laughs> because you are you are in service, okay? You're, you are um, you're healing at this time. Okay, with the 555, five, five, that always talks about big changes. Okay, big changes that sometimes are very uncomfortable. Okay, um, but, but you are headed towards fulfillment. Okay, and actually, I'm, I'm kind of picking up on this energy that actually this Ten of Cups energy, this happiness, this fulfillment energy is a choice that you make every day. Okay, so don't, um, there's something about like getting stuck, being stuck in this, um, maybe in this like manifestation stage or like maybe putting a lot of energy towards, um, you may be stuck, like feeling stuck up about a manifestation or like, it's like the divine is saying like, hey, like you keep telling me that you want this, got the message loud and clear 
Okay, I know what you want. I know what you want. I'm just trying to get you there, right? Because, because especially if 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 pile two, if you're wanting to be in service in a way of like healing, like say you're a healer or or something like that, right? If you're wanting to be in service in that type of way, okay, you ha there's there, it's like you have to have an understanding of yourself and others so that you can do that. Okay, and you and there's something about reaching a certain level of healing here in order to call in certain people in order to be you know um uh, in uh, of service of them, okay? So um But I also feel like here, okay, um, pile two. Yeah. We have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups out here. Like, literally just waiting on the ace of pentacles and then we will have seen all of these changes and that might be significant pile two mm -hmm. pile two you may have had this new this brand new like mental clarity ace of swords and this new emotional beginning ace of cups and you're like literally just waiting on things in the physical okay um so i feel like you know your mind be might be like i'm hearing like playing tricks and trying to tell you that you're not worthy of you know that that all of this work that you've done is unworthy and that you know because maybe you're still you know um going through it and stuff still waiting to see things in the physical here okay but as the divine this message is to let you know that you are on the right side of things and although you may still be waiting yeah you're going through this transition although you may still be waiting to see this reflection in the physical here um look now we have the five of wands another five okay um Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's there's your pile two. This message is to let you know that you are going through you know a transition here. Okay? That's what it is, that you are in the midst of a transition and that your work is not going unnoticed and that you are on the right side of things. Okay, so if your mind is telling you otherwise, kick it in the butt, okay? <laughs> yeah. So, love you. We'll talk soon. Pile three. Threes might be significant for you anyways, pile three, okay? Um, they just might. They just might. Let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what does pile three need to know? What does pile three need to know? Companionship, huh? Companionship, eh? Pile three. What you need to know is you're worthy of whatever connections are coming into your life right now. Okay, I feel like you have gone through this ascension and you um, have really raised your vibration. You've really kind of emotionally matured and I think that there's lots of companionships, a lot of connections, lots of um, relationships that are coming through, um, and it could be one in particular um, that I feel like maybe you're concerned that maybe you're not worthy of, or like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, you know, look. <laughs> Let me do it one more time for you. Isn't that so exciting? 
Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> I feel like this is a supportive connection, okay? This is also somebody who's possibly um, emotionally mature here, but I think that they've kind of been, um, I heard they've been through the ringer in the past. They've been through the ringer, okay? And, um, but they're, they're working through, or you are, right? You're working through some sort of heartbreak. I feel like you've been working through this, okay? Um, but what is, yeah, there's this indecision here, pile two. And this is definitely in your mind. Um, possibly about some sort of competition. Yeah. Um, also, uh, pile three, like, don't, there's something about, like, possibly doubting yourself here. I don't know. Don't do that. Which, that's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. But I feel like it's, it's, it's also, it's, it, like, not, not just, like, doubting yourself as far as this connection goes or this companionship or something, but also, um, just in general, like just about like the work that you've done, who you are. Yeah, this nine of swords, like let go of this anxiety. Okay, let go of this anxiety. Maybe possibly about a connection here. Three, I also feel like um, there's something there's something about solitude here okay um, Yeah, because I'm picking up, like, you're in this, like, high priestess and a uh, queen of wands energy. Do you know who this is, right? We have the empress here, too. Like, do you know? Do you know who you are? <laughs> I'm just wondering, like, because to me, according to this, it looks like you're, like, absolutely stunning. Okay, gorgeous, handsome, just be on, like, you know, you're the type of person that, like, you walk into a room or something, you get plenty of attention, right? But not only on top of that, okay, but you're very kind and loving and nurturing and you attract. You attract, you're like a magnet, okay? But even on top of that, you're, like, tapped into the divine, you're, like, connected, you're like emotionally mature, you're like practical, you're like down to earth, you're like all these things. And maybe you feel like, um, yeah, th listen, this could be like a connection, okay, or something that's, uh, this is very similar to pile one very similar to pile one, but I feel like this is mostly 
about connections, okay? Maybe some sort of like romantic something here. Pile one felt more like business, okay? But there is a connection here that I feel like is very sudden. It kind of pops up really quickly. And the divine is saying like, hey, breathe. You deserve this. Okay? I don't know. Um... Let's see. Yeah, because there's some sort of indecision on whether or not you even deserve love at all, maybe. Um, yeah. Pile three, I feel like, again, you've been through the ringer when it comes to relationships. And I'm picking up on this energy where I feel like... Something might be happening. Something might be unfolding for you, potentially. Um, I heard romantically, okay? And um, and there may be some sort of like restrictions here that might be popping up, okay? Those are your brain lying to you, okay? <laughs> This could be, you know, I don't, I don't know what the restrictions would be, there, but they're all different. But there's something about either you feeling like you don't deserve it or unsure how it would even work or like there's different things here. But there definitely is a connection that I feel like is manifesting. Also, there's kind of this energy of like, okay, no, divine, <laughs> listen, we've kind of been through this a few times, right? Each time it was a whole lesson and I love the lessons. I love the lessons, but... <laughs> so this could also be, maybe your brain is telling you, um, well, I guess this is just another lesson, right? And so maybe you're not as into it. Maybe you're not as, I don't know. There's something about, um, there's something about something being real, okay? And you deserving companionship. I think that's a big thing. I think your brain is really kind of, because I feel like either there is going to be or there just recently was some, some sort of connection that is popping into your life. Okay, and I do feel like it is romantic, but it's... Um, there's this indecision here on whether or not, um, you know, you're like worthy of this or like, or are you ready? You know what I mean? Like, that's kind of it. It's like, um, or how is this going to work? And I feel like the divine is saying like, Hey, just kind of let us, Something about like surrender this, just like um, let this unfold here, okay? Yeah, because I don't know, there's something. Um, but I'm also pile three, okay? I'm also picking up on an energy where um, these new connections, um, okay, this could also be it. Some of you are still, pile three, some of you are still holding on to a connection because like a new one hasn't shown up and maybe possibly your brain is telling you that this old one is you know, repairable, or that's what you're, where you're supposed to be, or, or something like that, and you need to let go of that, okay, you need to let go of that old connection here, 
Okay. It's filled with burdens. This person. I, I feel like if you're still there, if you're still messing with this because you have hope, because you feel like you're doing the right thing. Pile three. Um, but, yeah. Mm. Whoever you're, I don't know. I feel like there could be an energy that's kind of like this community. Community dick or vagina. Okay, so be mindful of that. Let go of the community poon. Okay. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. And that's not for everyone, but it's here. It's very much here. <laughs> okay, because I feel like there's a connection that's coming through that's victorious. Okay, it's, ga it's gaining momentum, really, the energy. You may actually be already connected with this person um, in the ethers here. Yeah. Yep. Look. Yeah. Exactly. So... Yeah, you're, and you're attracting it. You're pulling this in. So if you're still connected to this old energy, okay, let it go. Because there's new wanting to come in. It's actually like right outside your door, but it can't because um, that energetic space is occupied. Okay? Okay. Okay, listen. Hey, I have you. I hope this is helpful. We'll talk soon.